Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at the maximum likelihood estimation of the parameters of a gamma probability distribution. So that is given the probability density function of a gamma random variable, it is probability of xn given by beta over alpha by gamma of alpha xn power alpha minus 1 exponential of minus beta xn. So that is the probability density function. This is the probability density function of the random variable xn of xn. So our goal is to uh, estimate our goal is to estimate the parameters alpha and beta given n number of these measurements that is given x is equal to xn from for n equal to 0 to n minus 1 that is given n values of xn uh, that is a vector x having n values xn how do we find the parameters alpha and beta using the maximum likelihood method that is we use the maximum likelihood method it is maximum likelihood estimation method so the first step in this estimation method is we have to define the logarithm of the probability density function that is logarithm of probability of x is given by alpha times logarithm of beta minus logarithm of gamma of alpha and then plus alpha plus alpha minus 1 into logarithm of xn it is alpha minus 1 into logarithm of xn minus beta xn it is logarithm of exponential becomes minus beta xn so that is the logarithm of the probability density function of the uh, observation xn now we have to construct the log likelihood function that is function l of x given the parameters alpha comma beta is defined as the sum of the sum of the logarithm of the probability density function of the individual variables here we are assuming that the random values xn are independent of each other so based on that assumption logarithm of the random vector x is equal to sum of the logarithms of the individual probability density functions here l of x is called log likelihood function so this log likelihood of the n variables is given by this summation now we can determine the parameters alpha and beta that is argument maximize with respect to alpha or beta this function l of x given with the parameters alpha and beta will give us the optimal parameters alpha and beta hat it is maximizing this function with respect to the parameters alpha and beta will give the maximum likelihood estimates of alpha and beta so for example if you want to find the maximum likelihood estimate of alpha what we have to do is maximize this function with respect to alpha that is equate the partial derivative of this log likelihood function log likelihood function this partial derivative of this function with respect to alpha to 0 so this equation will give us an estimate of the parameter alpha so first let us write the expression for log likelihood that is l of x given the parameters alpha and beta is equal to this summation but this summation is given by this expression that is alpha log beta minus log of gamma of alpha plus alpha minus 1 log xn minus beta xn so by substituting by inserting or substituting this value the definition of the log likelihood we get n times alpha logarithm of beta minus log n times logarithm of the gamma of alpha function so n times logarithm of the gamma of alpha plus alpha minus 1 summation n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 logarithm of xn 
and finally minus beta summation n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x n. So, that means we have an expression that is a so the log likelihood is given by n alpha log beta minus n log gamma of alpha plus alpha minus 1 summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 logarithm of x n minus beta times the summation of the observations that is n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x n summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x n. Now, we can determine the values of alpha by differentiating this function by differentiating this function with respect to alpha and making the derivative equal to 0 that is that is derivative of this expression should be equal to 0 derivative with respect to alpha that is derivative of n alpha log beta minus derivative of n log gamma that is log gamma of alpha that is n log gamma of alpha plus alpha minus 1 summation of the logarithm of x n that is plus alpha minus 1 summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 logarithm of x n and minus finally minus beta summation n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x n. So, the derivative of this expression should be equal to 0. Now, with respect to alpha the derivative is simply for the first term n times logarithm of beta and for the second term it is minus n uh, logarithm of gamma of alpha which is basically the derivative will be 1 by gamma of alpha multiplied by gamma dash of alpha and for the third term the derivative is simply summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 logarithm of x n and the last term the derivative is simply 0 because it does not have a alpha term. So, this expression should be equal to 0. So, in order to solve for the alpha we have the following expression that is psi of alpha which is basically the di gamma function which is equal to by definition gamma dash of alpha that is derivative of the gamma function divided by the gamma function. This is the definition of di gamma function. Now, by using this definition in this equation we have psi of alpha that is the di gamma function is equal to that is basically sending this term to the right side we have logarithm of beta plus 1 by n summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 logarithm of x n. So, this equation gives the solution for alpha that is by solving this nonlinear equation because uh, psi of alpha is a nonlinear function of alpha. So, by solving this nonlinear equation by using any of the numerical methods we can find the value of alpha that is a solution to this equation gives us alpha hat that is the estimate of alpha. Next for the parameter beta we can proceed as follows. Again for the parameter beta we have to differentiate this expression with respect to beta that is the partial derivative partial derivative with respect to beta of this expression n alpha log beta minus n log gamma of alpha n alpha log beta minus n log gamma of alpha plus alpha minus 1 summation n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 logarithm of x n minus beta times beta times summation n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x n that is summation of the observations this derivative must be equal to 0. The first term the derivative is simply n alpha by beta second term the derivative is 0 third term the derivative is 0 and the final term it is simply the summation n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x n that is equal to 0. Therefore, the estimate of beta is given by beta hat is equal to by simply sending this term to the right side and rewriting the expression such that we have beta hat which is given by alpha hat divided by 1 by n summation n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x n or in other words beta hat is equal to the ratio of the estimate alpha estimate of alpha and the mean of the observations x bar where x bar is equal to the mean of observation. Hence 
Hence, the estimates of the parameters of the gamma probability density function are given by 1. For alpha, it is basically the solution of this equation. Psi of alpha, that is the di gamma function, is equal to log of beta plus 1 by n, summation of the logarithms of the observation. And then, once we have the estimate of alpha, we can use that estimate to find the estimate of beta, that is beta hat is given by alpha hat by x bar. That is, x bar is the mean of the observations, alpha hat is the estimate of the parameter alpha. So, basically in this video, we have looked at the maximum likelihood estimation approach for the uh, determining the, for finding the parameters of a gamma distribution. Thanks for watching.